Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. This morning, LEGO revealed the brand new LEGO Ideas table football set. This is set number 21337, 2,339 pieces, 22 minifigures, and it's going to retail for $250 on November 1st. I am not a huge fan of this set. Um, when it was announced, I honestly forgot about it, but I was like kind of interested in it because I thought that it could look pretty cool. But LEGO has really scaled it down. There were supposed to be 11 players on each football team or soccer team because I'm not British. Um, so I'm also going to call it a foosball table at points, not just table football. Um, but I, I don't like that they've scaled it down to five minifigures per side. And I also just think it looks really bad or not bad, but just like not for me. Like to me, this looks like a toy, not a display piece, which would be fine if it wasn't an 18 plus adult collectors display piece with functionality you know like it is a game because foosball is a game but in lego's press release they call it an ideal cabinet display piece this is not an ideal cabinet display piece i think that this is garish and it looks like it belongs in a video game arcade which is fine but then don't call it an adult collector's display piece because it looks nothing like an adult foosball table you know um, so I think that that's dumb. I don't like that Lego changed it so much. I much preferred the original larger one because this just seems really small for $250. And to be fair, it's got a ton of minifigures, a ton of hair pieces. We're going to talk about that. Um, but just in terms of overall size and how much it's changed, this is going to be one that I want because of the minifigures, but I will not buy unless I can find it for less than $200. Um, and if I have nothing else to buy that month, because $200 is still a lot of money to spend on something that I don't care about that much. I do want to see how the function works. I am excited about that, but I'm just not super impressed with it. I, I don't like this blue and red color scheme. Again, I think it makes it look like a video game console or something like that. And even like the knobs to turn like the players, I don't think they look good. I don't think they needed the color. I get that the color is to represent the different teams, but... But I don't know, I would have just preferred like a regular looking foosball table like the submission had. I mean, kudos to the designers for trying something fun. Um, but I would have preferred something that looked good over this. Because honestly, this looks like an air hockey table to me. With the white and the black and then like the blue and the red, like it just makes me think of air hockey. And that's like why that arcade connotation is coming to mind. It doesn't really make me think foosball because when I think foosball, I just think like, oh, like green and brown and like white, not red and black and blue so yeah i also don't like the soccer ball piece it's like this spike prime ball not the actual lego soccer ball and i get why they're using a bigger ball because i think the the actual lego soccer ball would be pretty hard to hit and everything um and i, I saw complaints that it was going to be too light but i mean like at least print it like it doesn't even look like a soccer ball so i think that that's i think that that's pretty lame um, and I mean, they talked about scaling it down. Brickset did some interviews with them and they said that they just couldn't make the larger size work because with 11 players per team, instead of five, they said the Technic axles would just like bend or like even snap, like when it exposed to re to repeated play. And I mean, I get that, like they're the experts, I'll defer to their judgment, but like really, like there wasn't anything you could have done. Because, for example, with teams this small, I don't like how the goalie has, like, defenders on either side of them. Like, goalies should be alone, right? Like, that's the whole point on a soccer field. And so they said, again, they tried putting the goalie on, like, its own axle, but it just didn't work. And I don't know. I just, I wish that they had, and honestly, they said they came close to canceling the set, which surprised me. Um, but then they just decided to shrink it down. And so I'm glad we have it rather than not, but I do wish it was closer to the original submission. I know I've been complaining a lot about how many big sets LEGO releases, um, but honestly, I'm glad that Ideas is still coming out with stuff that I don't really want to buy, because I didn't buy the Jazz Quartet either. And again, I mean, like, this build looks, like, okay. Like, there are parts of it that I like. Like, I like the ends, but it's mostly, like, the color scheme that's putting me off. Um, and it just seems really deep. Like, it seems like if you, like, unless you're looking, like, straight down on this, you're never going to be able to, like, see inside just because of the way it's constructed. And I don't love that either. I do really like this little, like, spectator stand for the extra minifigures, though. I think that that's perfect. But again, it seems like a lot of pieces went into that that didn't need to. The colored team, like, stripes down there, I guess that's nice. Um, 
except like I think that all of that black base is just wasted parts and I guess let's find a better picture for this instead of using that video um but also like the blue doesn't even match the color of the minifigures because the minifigures are a regular blue and then that's like a medium or dark azure so that's also kind of stupid because if the color doesn't even match the minifigures then what is the point of it I think the field looks okay. Um, those are prints. Those have to be prints. There's no way those are stickers. Um, but again, like I, don't, I would prefer the darker green color, but that's kind of a nitpick. Uh, but now for the minifigures, there are a ton of really awesome new face prints and hair colors in this set. And I just think that that is amazing. I, I don't know if that one's new, but I love that color. I think that that's a new, that's Lloyd's hair from the Ninjago movie in Blonde. That's Shuri's hair from the new Black Panther sets in red. Uh, but we've also got our very first minifigure with Vitil Vitiligo or Vitiligio. I, I forget how it's pronounced. Um, but it's like a skin condition where uh, people like lose like melanoma in their skin cells. And I think it's really awesome that Lego is representing more minifigures or more people through their minifigures. And like even like faces with glasses and stuff, that's nice to see as someone that wears glasses. I want more minifigures wearing glasses. And so you get 22 minifigures in this set, but they actually give you 44 heads, 43 hair pieces so that you can, you know, mix and match and do whatever you want. And what's really interesting is that this is the first ever non-licensed set to have flesh-toned minifigures. So you can see a bunch of them here. This is a hair piece from the Raya and the Last Dragon sets that comes in this set in blonde and another new color. That's uh, Sam Wilson's Captain America hair in blonde. There's just a lot of cool new pieces and a lot of cool new face prints. That's Will's hair from the Stranger Things set. I don't think they've recolored that yet, so that's also really awesome. Um, and I'm just really happy to see so many minifigures. I really like the goalie uniforms too because I love that shade of purple. But it's great to see so many minifigures, so many skin tones, and again, like I said, just all of those new colors for hair pieces. I like that guy's face a lot. I think it looks kind of funny. Um, that character has a hearing aid. This hairpiece, I wish they recolored this because it's just the Barbara Gordon hair from the Lego Batman movie. This hairpiece is really cool though. And yeah, you'll be able to see like a bunch of the different heads and everything in all of the pictures. And people are complaining about the minifigures because they are flesh toned and it's not a licensed set. And there are some stupid comments on Brickset about how like, oh, well, I think that like yellow is universal and representative of everyone. And it's like, no, I am not yellow in real life. I am brown. I would like a minifigure that is also brown because the classic smiley is great for populating like a modular town, but I think having a diversity of skin colors and hair pieces and everything is really important. And I'm glad that Lego is doing more of that. And so I think that it's just a really great thing. And you can actually see in this image, I take back what I said about the base of the spectator stand being useless because it turns out you can actually store the heads and hair pieces in there. So that's a great feature. And also on the subject of yellow minifigures, I don't want LEGO to get rid of yellow minifigures, so I hope that this doesn't become the standard. I think it's okay for this set, but I definitely want to still see yellow minifigures. Um, but the other thing is that everyone whining about how yellow minifigures represent like everybody, they really don't. Because if you think about like LEGO and The Simpsons where everyone is yellow, everyone is yellow until there's a dark-skinned person and then they're brown. Because like in The Simpsons, um, the African-American and the Indian characters are brown while everyone else is yellow. And in Lego, everyone was yellow until Lando Calrissian showed up in a Star Wars set in 2003 and he was like that reddish brown color. So that means that these people do not view yellow as universal. Yellow is just light skinned or Caucasian. And so I think that that's a really stupid argument that like, oh, yellow is like universal because yellow is universal again until a person of color comes into like these things. Um, and so I'm really glad to see like all of the, all of the different, uh, heads and everything in this set. And I'm really glad that Lego introduced new skin colors in 2022. They've done a lot of bad things in 2022 between the price raises and all the stupid sets like this. Um, this isn't a stupid set concept. I just think it's like not a good set for the price. Um, but yeah, between like a bunch of clunker sets and like two high prices in 2022, I'm very glad that they did something really good by introducing a lot of... I think they've introduced like two to like four new skin tones. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much my thoughts on this set. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Like I said, I will only be buying it if I can find it for less than $200 and I'm like bored one day. Um, but I just cannot afford it in November, not between like the Black Panther bust and the UCS Razor Crest and the new Hulk Buster and the new Eiffel Tower, like, and I bought like the Hogwarts Express. So I am just like drowning in Lego. 
So that's it for today. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and check out my website, goldenninja3000.com, and I'll see you guys in more videos soon. Bye for now.